and the moon is the only light we'll see. Can, is my is my mic on? Okay. Let me know if my mic works when I do this. I'm about to do this filter. And let me know if it's auto-tuned or not, or whatever. There's like a weird effect. On Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? How about 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 now? What is that? Instagram, get it together. No? Blah, 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 blah. Can you hear me? Blah, 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 blah. Beep bop, booty bop. Okay, you can hear me now. <laughs> yeah, it's that filter. Fuck that filter. I hate it. I only like that filter for how it makes my face look, but then it makes you auto tuned and it's not great. Hi, Chili Philly. Hi, Chris Crocker. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. I have nothing to say. That filter. <laughs> me too, James. It's a very cute video. And darling, darling, stand. It doesn't hit as diff. It doesn't hit the same. When I do that, when I'm singing like that, it doesn't hit the same. When there's no filter. Stand by me. When does it when does it end? When does it end when for, big foreheads are not a thing? My forehead isn't even that big when I have a wig on. When I don't have a wig on, I get it. But if I have a wig on, then there's some sort of like there is a little bit of, I lose like a centimeter and then I'm fine. I'm in Normalville. Fine. Yeah, I'm great. Did you eat that lunch today? Yeah, yes, I did. I'm so afraid for Instagram. I feel like Instagram will turn into Twitter one day. I'm glad you want to know something that's interesting. Twitter has their own language, but Instagram doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like Twitter has like their own language, top to bottom. Like Twitter can say, you know, what do they say? You, they say sis on here too. But like, like oh, like, can't uh, imagine. Like they say imagine a lot, Ima imagine. What else do they say? Moose knuckle grip pussy? I don't know. I don't know. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. They don't have it on here, and that's good. Instagram is still pure. Instagram is still wholesome, and I really do appreciate that. I'm glad that that doesn't happen. Twitter is just a cesspool. It's just the same person. It's like it's one guy. Twitter is like if it was one guy who had... Billions of accounts. And and he is 
he got he just has talent because he can just go on every single account and reply to everything with the same fucking lingo it's really really amazing it's like when you watch a netflix netflix show and and all the characters in the show talk the same and you're like i know who wrote this someone wrote this show one person wrote this show and and all the character that and that's that's just that's just how i feel about about twitter you came late just live with that you arrived late that's why you don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to be nice i'm going to be nice enough to tell you i'm talking about how people my, what I, the point I'm trying to make is that I talk, I'm talking about people on Twitter and how they all talk the same. Yes, Malu, I have a pet. I, I already have a pet. I'm not getting one yet. I do need to get a new one, but I am getting a pet, yes. I want a dog. That's not going to happen. So I'm just going to get another cat. And it's so funny to me how everyone's like, no, don't get a dog. Don't get a dog. Because I have to take care of the dog. But you gotta take care of cats too, Alex. 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 He's sleeping. But I was gonna make him explain to you guys. <laughs> I was gonna get another cat. I was gonna get a, an oriental short hair. They're the ones with the long face. They look like um, Adrian Brody. They're really cute. They look like bats, but without wings. I'm not wearing PJs. No. Get an ant farm. Very exciting. You know what? Yeah. Imagine, hey, what if we get an ant farm? You know what, Malu? You're so right. Because if I get an ant farm, that's a type of pet that you can, it'll be, there's so many of the same pet everywhere once you open up the, the, the tank. So I'm going to get an ant farm and I'm going to open up the top of it, right? Put, put a little bit of garlic bread in the middle of the living room and it's a fucking party. Box of centipedes. <gasps> centipedes. Ooh. I should buy a bunch of dead flies, just kind of lay them out, lay them out everywhere. Have, have, get a bunch of spy, get a sack of spider babies. Big sack of spiders. Ooh, tap on it a couple times, they'll come out. And it's like a fucking bonanza. I should do that. That's a good idea. Malu fucking props to Malu Trevejo. You know what? A pet snake doesn't bother me. I'm being completely honest with you. I fuck with snakes. Snakes are fucking cute. They're just dogs without legs and ears. They're just long, cock-shaped dogs. I can do a snake. I can super duper own a snake. Won't do it because I have, obviously they're, they sit in one spot. You can't just take them with you everywhere. Unless you're a person who goes on like the train every day and you like to show people your snake on the, on, on the metro, on the train. There's people with snakes and they go, they go on buses and trains and they show people their snake and everyone gets either freaked out or they just say, oh, cool. I could be one of those per pe one of those persons, but I won't. I like you know what I like. I like the bug idea more. I love the idea of just ants everywhere. Just at uh, just a single a single slice of garlic bread, and it's a fucking party in my living room. Probably crickets. Crickets. Big, big, big handful of crickets. That sounds good. I like that. Lots of crickets. 
I'll never be lonely in that case. You know what I mean? There's always somebody around to keep me company. I like that idea. That's a good idea. Venus fly traps. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go live in the Amazon. That's what we'll do. We're just going to go to the Amazon and I'm going to bring up generator and I'm going to charge my phone there and I'm just going to be on live in the Amazon and there's going to be mosquitoes, all types of buddies. Three squirrels stacked on top of each other with a trench coat. Yep. That's a cool bet. You'll find that in the Amazon. Um, yeah. Yeah, you will. <sighs> Plenty of pets there. There's so many pets in the Amazon, dude. Why don't we all just go to the Amazon and hang out? Grab some bugs. Imagine, though, it, that's the most, that's, that's such an uncommon thing to have as a pet is a bug. People really like bugs. There's people, there's a whole community of people who like bugs out there. But imagine. Imagine you have a, bu a, f a pet as a bug or a bug as a pet, and you bring him, I don't know, bring him to, in a ta put him in a fucking taxi, you're going somewhere in a taxi, and then you buy, just, I don't know, you close the door on him and he's dead. It's probably why people don't have bugs as pets. You know what kind of bug I would have as a pet is a snail. I could do a snail. That's easy. Cuz you just stick them on your on your arm or you stick them on your neck or something. You put them on your leg if you're wearing shorts and you can walk around and he's just fucking chilling. He's defying all laws of gravity and he's just there with you. A snail will fucking stick with you through the long haul. Like a yeah, it's a, he's a sticky. He's a sticky guy. That's the joke. He's just gonna stick on to you. Slime on, slime he's just, with you forever. Yeah, he's gonna slime with you for, forever. <laughs> snails are fucking dope. I fuck with snails. They just get stepped on. They're so they're so underrated. People eat snails, people step on snails, kids like to pick them up, put salt on them. You know, but why don't we ever just have snails as pets? They're so chill. So low maintenance. And they move around and they look at you with their big fucking eyes. You don't have to do anything. There's no poop pro situation. You don't have to, t there's no poop. Snails don't poop. Snails, <laughs> snails don't poop. Snails don't pee. And if they do, you don't see it, you know? They can't be taking in that much water and letting it out and it be noticeable. A praying mantis would be a really good pet. True. Fucking snails are fucking dope, dude. Shout out to all the snails. Mm. They, uh, poop through their mouths. Anyway. Listen, the day I see a snail take a shit is the day I realize. It comes up you think they poop through their face? They do. Snails shit through their mouth. Yeah. No, they don't. Snails surely poop. The process is a bit bizarre by our standards because the anus opens into the same man mantle, mant mantle cavity 
which also houses the lung. So the poop itself is shed through the, bre the breathing pore. It is usually a string of green or brown matter depending on what the snail has been eating. I mean, I, don't, I guess I don't know if it's their mouth, but it's definitely their breathing hole. It's like their nose or something. Yo, God has our back. Dude, God has our back. Imagine we just pooped through our mouths. Imagine we pooped through our mouth. Dude, being a snail sucks. Being a snail really fucking sucks. The animal that I would never want to be before knowing this was a penguin. Because penguins got it bad. They have no predators. But they got to stand there in the cold and keep an egg in between their legs. And they got crazy obliques. Penguins got crazy fucking thighs. But snails shit through their mouths. Ish. Nah, dude. Not ish. They ab 100%, 100 per thousand, 500 thousand percent shit through the world, so they shit through. Well, they don't breathe through their mouth. They, they shit out of where they breathe. They shit out their lungs. Yeah, somewhere. mouth. Is their lungs, do their lungs have a hole in them and they're... You know what? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they do. They can't breathe. They I don't know. Snails are fucking cute, and they're really cool. Shout out to all the snail. They gotta poop through their mouths, so let's give them that. I don't know. There's a lot of really bad... Dude, God got our backs. So that's the point. The predator count, dude, there's no, penguins don't get killed like that. They die from nature. They die from snow and shit. Fucking cold, sh they, if they get abandoned, they just die. And they don't eat, they don't give, get enough fish, that's how they die. You know, no penguin, of course a penguin gets eaten by a seal. But I'm saying, they have such low, if you were to walk up to a penguin, go to, go to fucking Antarctica. Go to Antarctica, go to, you know, go there. And walk up to a penguin. Penguin's gonna be like, sup. Penguin's gonna literally walk up to you and go, arre. It's gonna just hang. It's just gonna be, arre. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna give you problems. It's not gonna run away. It's cause you just look like another penguin to them. They don't know anything else but penguin. So that's, that's, you know. That's pretty cool. I like penguins for that reason, but wouldn't want to be one. <sighs> you just gotta find fish. That's all penguins do. They just find fish. So that's nice. You know, sometimes. I'm sure it's hard to find fish when everything's frozen, you know? It's a big, it's a big dick tease to be a penguin because you have ice, and that's it. And then there's water under there, and they know. They know there's there's water under there, and they know in water there's fish. They know they're standing right over their meal, but they can't get through there. They don't got the, they don't have the biceps and the triceps to get through that shit. They don't have the the stomp power. They can't get through that fucking ice. They just gotta keep walking. Till they find some sort of thin, thin area. Till, till that ice thins out. You know? Welcome to my Instagram live. We're having very important conversations here. Put a one in the chat if you yawned. Cool. 
cool. Nice. I'm watching Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I think we're almost done. I like to, if I'm hanging out with people, I don't ever watch a movie all the way through. I just, I put it on and then every two seconds I pause it to talk about something that's completely unrelated to the movie. And then I continue back into the movie. As if every five minutes of the movie, of the movie is an episode of a, of a, of a show. Can we talk about, can we talk about something actually important? We've been talking about fucking penguins and ants and shit for like 15, 25 minutes. And I wanted to talk about something that actually is really concerning me. Um, it took me, it took me two days to realize that WAP meant wet ass pussy. And it's really concerning to me and I'm worried about, I feel like everyone else understood like that. It took me two fucking days to realize that WAP meant wet ass pussy. And I just thought it meant WAP. I mean, I thought it was just a word. Like wop, 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 wop. But it means wet ass pussy. Cause she was saying wet and gushy because I watched the YouTube music. I watched, I went on YouTube, I watched the music video. That's what they're saying, it's censored. Then I heard the uncensored version and I heard wet ass pussy and I went, oh my God. I am a special kind of dumb. I'm a special kind of stupid and um, well, I mean, shouldn't the song have been called WAG? But, obviously, the completely 100% better version of that is WAP. Because wet ass pussy sounds way better than, you know what people, what censorship people want it to sound like. I'm upset, I'm upset that I heard the censored version first, but I'm not upset at the song itself, fucking smash. Fucking smash. I sound like an A&R, but I'm just being honest, songs. Really good. Just don't like censored stuff. That WAP for us for being a censored song, that shit sounded perfectly fine to me. Then I heard the uncensored and I was I was taken to another planet. I don't I don't just don't know how the fuck I didn't catch wet ass pussy, so you know. Oh, we're not talking about that. No, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna, look, I'm trying to have a good, I'm trying to have a positive live. We're not talking about that. I know you guys are trying to, I'm not doing that. FCC really does kill the vibe sometimes. WAP should make, make the talks of Congress today. Thanks. I'm glad you guys like Freak. Song's been out for 20,000 years. Hi, Amala Kitty.
No, I'm completely, I'm double negative tested. I'm super negative. I'm so, dude, I'm, I so don't have corona right now. I'm extremely negative. So, I'm so negative right now. Hey, you guys, I love you. My phone's about to die. I'm on the last little drip drop of juice on my phone. I love you. I don't know if you can hear me, but I love you guys. I gotta go. Bye. Bye, love you. Love you. Bye.